Hi everyone, welcome to a Chandler's channel. I'm Tracy and I'm your host. And what I do on my channel is I provide readings uh, from my spirit guide, Whitehawk. I consciously channel him to provide you with weekly, monthly, and uh, readings on various topics. Now today's session is surrounding our weekly reading for April 22nd to 28th. So if that interests you, please stay tuned. Now, during the weekly readings, I always like to touch back on what was said in the previous week, and uh, I ask you to comment during the week. I also ask you to comment during the monthly uh, reading on April 2013, and uh, definitely the tone for April is surrounding rest, and the monthly, media, uh, monthly reading was about rest, and, and less is more, therefore you will be productive. And so leave me comments as to how that's coming along. Um, this week I've had no choice but to rest because I sprained uh, my ankle, tore ligaments in my right ankle. So I've been having to uh, just hang out. So that's what my week has uh, shaped up to be. So without further ado, I'm going to go get Whitehawk and I'm going to see what he has to say for our week. Indeed, he says, rest, rest, rest. This is indeed, he says, the premise of my teachings and my um, message in the last uh, few weeks, he says, has it not? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, some people are like, yeah, resting. Other people's like, yeah, resting, you know? And he says, and this week he says, will not be any different, he says, my friends. Especially with the tragic events, he says, um, that have unfolded in Boston, he says, this past week. If there's ever a time that we need to rest, it is a time more than ever, he says, as a nation. Now, he says, the events leading up to this tragic event, he says, will be unfolding or about to unfold, he says, um, when you are listening to this message, he says, this week. And what I want you to do is I want you to take time to reflect, he says, in prayer, in nature, however, he says, just a moment of reflection of perhaps, how could we have contributed to this? How could we have made this better? How could we, as a nation, somehow cause this? And everybody's sitting in a circle, listening to him. We're all cross-legged. And we're pondering these thoughts. And there's a lot of sadness that's coming up. And he says, yes. Sadness is good for the heart. Nespa, he says. That's what your homework for the week is, my friends. I simply want you to lay low. Stay away from the television. Stay away from stimulation. And I want you to reflect on these past week's events. Just go out in nature. I'm seeing a neat I'm seeing like a forest and then I'm seeing a deer in nature. He says yes. Get out in nature, he says, and visit our wildlife. They are very welcoming, he says to you. And oftentimes, he says, when we're out in nature, we don't even know or don't even realize, he says, the healing effects of it. He says, but they are real and they exist and they are happening to you when you are in nature. Be blessed when you are out in nature, he says, for no that is God's gift to us, to help us to get through such tragic events as 
that's what I unfolded last week in Boston. Be blessed, he says. Be blessed. And then he crosses himself. He blesses himself that way. God bless. Thank you, White Oak. Well, I know I certainly could do with a date out in nature, <laughs> being stuck in the house so much. So that's our weekly reading. May you find solace and comfort. Uh, I'll see you at our next weekly reading. And I was supposed to do a reading on highly sensitive people, but in lieu of that, I did a, a reading on the Boston bombing, and you might like to uh, have a view or a listen to that. So I'm Tracy for Chandler's channel. See you back here soon. God bless.